What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley, where I am... Oh, yeah, there is a little path down here. We got a nicer lake on our property, too. That's always a good thing to see when it comes to land value. Gotta have that agua around. If you ain't got no water on your land, you're in a little bit of trouble. And you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay a stipend to have somebody else bring it along. Which can be definitely troublesome. Hey there! It's good to see you. Oh, it's Marnie. Okay, what does she do? She, like, self-feed or something? Okay, so we can get milk pails, heaters, hay, shears. Cool. I'm excited about, like, having sheep and stuff. I love animals. Animals are fantastic. I think that animals are one of the best things about being human is that, like, we get to domesticate things and have them be a part of our lives. Such a cool little thing, that symbiosis that we've developed with animals as a species. Mm, he picked that one back up. I don't think I need that much stone. Probably bringing too much stuff with me. While I was cleaving my way through the underbrush over on the left-hand side of our farm, I realized that I was completely off base and in the wrong spot. So we'll head to the left right here. Because I think this is what we want, right? Oh, that actually takes us a little bit southwards. So my guess would be that maybe this is going to hook up over here. What are you doing out here? Oh, man. I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. Yeah, I know the feeling. I absolutely know the feeling. I was not the most amazing student when I was young. When I was young and in college and in... Oh, the wizard tower is actually pretty easy to find. Okay, that wasn't tough to track down. He's also got some flowers in front of his house, and I am about to take those so that I can sell them. It looks like she's in a bad mood because she has to go through random wooded areas. See, she's been hanging out with the wizard. She and the wizard have a sordid love affair. I can't blame her if I knew a, if I knew a wizard. If I knew somebody to do magic, I'd be like, Welp, I'm hanging out with you from now on. We need to start a relationship, although I'm going to try never to make you mad. Oh, he's got a cowboy hat, too. Hey, come on in. I'm Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred chat. Well, you get the point. And you, Figgle Farmer, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. I like your toy train collection. Here, I'd like to that or their belt sanders. Here, I'd like to show you something. Oh, he's going to whip it out, isn't he? Behold! Hey, there's that little guy. Our head-banging apple. It sounds sad. Let it go. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, and for some reason they refuse to speak with me. Maybe it's because you're pinning him down and doing, like, magical bondage on him. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Huh. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna go see for myself. I'll return shortly. Oh, that's so gangster. Imagine if every time you went to the bar or the pub and like your friends were like, all right, we're going home. You should be like, all right, peace out. And disappeared like that. Oh, so baller. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? <laughs> ah! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell that? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Just pretend it's pea soup, man. Of the EA variety. It's in the game. Oh, no. We are tripping balls right now. Just hallucinating trees. There's not supposed to be trees inside. This isn't where the wild things are. Go away, tree. Shoo. Shoo. 
<laughs> You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. And then he just booted us out after that. He's like, yeah, dude, you're tripping too hard. You can't stay in my house right now. My wife's fitting to be home from work in like 25 minutes. And I swear to God, if she comes home and finds you lying around on the floor looking all sick and green. And then she finds out I had something to do with it. I told her I put this part of my life behind me. I put this I What? Greetings, Gypsy. So she's got a bullhead fish, a blueberry, bug meat, duck feathers, wild horseradish. Parsnip seeds like everybody else. Why does she why are her parsnip seeds so expensive? So in fall takes the entire season to grow Beautiful country you have here one of my favorite stops the pig likes it, too Huh, I don't know what to say about that Looks like I can't chop down the cherry tree or the apple tree or whatever the hell that is So I guess we'll leave it alone. It's a bit after actually we should fish for a bit that's what we should do. Let's go ahead and fish for a little while. We got the time. We got the time and we don't got the money to do anything else, so why not? Give that a good cast. There you go. Put it out there like you mean it. Put it out there like you, there's something right there. Hold on. Well, I'll go get that in a minute. Let's just fish this out first. We're already dedicated to the course. Let's stick with it. Stay the course. Got ourselves some green algae. I'll probably just eat that right now. That energy back. We've had a rough day. I stayed up late the other night. I could not sleep for shit last night. I had a... God, I had a major malfunction with my YouTube stuff. And, like, I just could not sleep. It was one of those times where, like, you've had too much activity before bed. And so you lay down, but your mind is still hella active. And you're just like, Argh! You're still in work mode. Happened to me. Happened to me. Let's clean out some of these little things that I don't care about. It's the little things, little things that make me who I am today. There we go. We got a Joja Cola. Oh, you instantly farm from this spot. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Like, you don't have to do the, the mini game or whatever. It's like an enchanted lure spot. Ah, this one's actually a fish. There we go. Got ourselves a smallmouth bass. That'll earn us some money. That'll be nice to have around. Green algae don't really need you right now. Joja Cola, I'll probably hold on to you just in case I can sell you, but... Come on, give me that good shit. That's tough. You gotta get used to it. Gotta get used to it. If you're struggling with the fishing minigame... It's definitely a little... It takes some effort to get... Ooh, that fish is staying down. Oh, he's rocketing out now. Uh, it's kind of like a rhythm to keeping it steady. And then you just slightly increase or decrease based on... Come on. Get in my backpack. I demand that you come with me. This fishing spot is popping, and so I'm trying to make use of it. I'm trying to put food on the table right now. Cool. Yeah, I got some trash. That's okay. You can just auto bin that. We don't need it. Man, this is the place to be right here. This is the place to be. A little bit of green algae that I don't really want. I bet I'm going to need that later on to make like potions or something. How much you want to bet? A broken CD. Another green algae. Huh, we'll come back. It's a little bit late at night, and I don't want to be out here too long. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. If I hear banging inside your hut, you guys are being pretty rowdy. You guys are being pretty rowdy and noisy. I don't, I'm not listening for banging, but if banging is taking place, hey, far be it from me to judge what you do in your twilight hours. If I had my way, that's what I'd be doing too, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, man. The joys of YouTubery. You always take the easy joke. That's the secret to YouTubing. 
Like, when you see the difficult joke, you should definitely, like, formulate it and plan it and try to do better. But when you get those easy, those layups, man. Those layups, you just gotta go in on them. Just don't! <laughs> well, now that we figured out what's going on with the Juni Mo's, I'm kind of interested to see... We need this crop to come in. We gotta earn some money. We're broke as a joke right now. I'll retill the soil over there, too, once it happens. We're going to bed early. 9.50 is a really, really early night for me. That's about average for my significant other, but... For me, that's an early night. Let's go ahead and stow away some of this stuff. I think it's the mayor's birthday. I think. So I'm gonna bring in my prize catch smallmouth bass. And maybe he'll like it. Maybe he won't. I don't know. We gotta water some plants though first before the town wakes up, so... Let's get on that real quick. It looks like we've also got some parsnips that have come in. Looks like we also got some parsnips. Good. We could use a solid harvest right now. Looks like those give you a decent amount of energy, too. Doesn't look like you can soak the soil. So I don't think we can go multiples on each spot trying to get a better yield. Or making them even more healthy, but... I'm actually really, really happy with the way our harvest has been going. I think we should be looking really, really solid here. By, like, not this harvest, but the one after, we should be... Producing a pretty decent amount of cash on each pull. I'll probably sell these off right here, although I'd like to split the stack somehow. There we go. You can right-click to split. Perfect. Perfecto. Let's go find the mayor. I'm going to give him a present because I do think it is his birthday. It might have been yesterday. I might have missed it. Yeah, I think his birthday was on Sunday. Shit. Was I a bad neighbor? I think I was a bad neighbor. I think I failed miserably. Can I take these berries out of the planter down here? I think that's like a community garden or something like that. I always like that idea where in the center of town you have like a communal orchard or something like that. So that, yeah, I missed it. Shit. Alright. It's my fault. Should have paid attention better. I think I got locked in on the, uh... I think I got overly excited about the prospects of meeting a wizard. A real live wizard. And so when that went down... Maybe we should swing up to the... We got the... the you got the ability to talk to the Junimos. So maybe we should swing through here again, too, and see what they have to say. My guess is that they're going to have, like, certain areas on the map that they occupy. And if we, like, fulfill certain quests in those areas. So the Spring Foraging Bundle. They want Wild Horseradish, Daffodil, Leek, and Dandelion. I have dandelion and leek. I think I have a daffodil, but I don't have wild horseradish. And then the reward is the bridge repair. For 200 wood and some hardwood, it looks like they'll fix the bridge too. Okay. We've got the winter foraging bundle. We've got an exotic foraging bundle. Summer foraging and fall foraging. All right. I don't think we have the stuff for that one, so we might have to find a wild horseradish first. I don't think I've seen those around, but we've got a big forest next to our house that we can forage in, so I think we've got a decent chance of finding that before the end of the season. I don't really know how long it is until fall. I'm sure they'll mark it on the calendar over here. Let's sell off some of our. Who's this guy? I don't know if I've seen him before. Who be that? Oh, it's Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Okay, Shane was that dickish guy we met at the bar. Let's sell off some wares here. Is that Pam? Who is that? Oh, it's Gus. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Okay. Gotta keep that mustache growing strong. Another harvest down. Another harvest down. I think Hmm, I don't know. I just don't know. Let's go back to our house real fast and I'm going to take a look at some of the stuff that I have around, but I think we could best spend our efforts. Oh yeah, I want to look at the calendar too and see if it actually marks the line at which fall happens. So it's spring of year one. Um, my guess is that maybe the, the seasons are like one month long or something. 
I don't know. Seems cool to me. Let's head back out into the forest. We haven't checked the sewers yet either. So who even knows what kind of depraved shit is going on down there. We also haven't gone to the east side of town, which I said I was going to do. But honestly, there's been so many things to get done that I haven't had time to do it. I should probably make time before we... What is this right here? A book? You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Interesting. Looks like I can harvest in here, too. And that's one of the flowers I need. So let's get after this guy. So we've got another flower over here. So we should definitely keep an eye out as we're running around for anything that might be useful. It looks like there's going to be a lot of random, like, diggy treasure type stuff. Like, a little bit of Zelda diggy type things that we need to be doing. I also need to finish... Are these crops watered properly? There we go. So we need wild horseradish before we can make this work. Well, let's go have a look around. I don't know what wild horseradish looks like, but if we can add it to our inventory, I would not be sad. It would actually make my day better. Wipe out some bushes over here. Doesn't look like there's anything hiding behind any of the trees. Wild horseradish, you say. Wild horseradish. Got an acorn. That's pretty sweet. I think the acorn is part of that. I don't know why you put an acorn in. I guess you can grind up acorns. Native Americans in California used to do it. Where they had like, you can see the pits actually. If you go to Los Padres National Forest. There's special areas where there's little pits that have been dug into the stone of the mountain. And what that's from is it's from Native Americans. They would use grinding stones right there. And it makes these little like half bowling ball sized holes. And that's where they would grind acorns at, basically. And so, they used to make kind of a meal out of it. And then from that, you could make acorn bread, which I have no idea as to the merits of whether or not acorn bread tastes good or not. But, I don't know. Never had it before. I'd have to try it first before I could tell you, I guess. I don't think we have any horseradish over here. And I think actually digging up some of these plants is going to cause me more pain than I'd like to admit. So... It might be a smarter idea. It did say that it had to be wild horseradish, though. It might be a decent idea to let some of these plants bud and get larger without breaking them. Yeah. I think that's probably what I'll do. And then we'll just keep an eye out for the horseradish. Like, every couple days, we'll swing through the forest. We've got, like, an entire month's worth of time to play around with. So it's not like we're on, like, a really strict schedule right now. There's things to be done. And there are things that are not so important. So keep our eye on the price here. I don't think I have any seeds left. I should probably reseed, right? I wanted to wait till this was all done so that I could get a uniform planting finished off. And then so I could also mix fertilizer in with the soil. Give me these fish back. And then we'll throw you guys in there. Plant material can chill for a little bit. I've got enough fish where I think I could sell for a decent profit right now. But... I don't think we'll make it to the store before a timeout. Yeah, we got potato seeds. Let's put those to the soil. Looks like we already got something planted over there, but I think this will be cool. Yeah, that'll keep us covered. You'd think the crows would be smart enough to realize the scarecrow doesn't mess with them. Normally you have to put like tin foil or like some kind of ribbon or something on it. Something that flaps around and moves. Otherwise, I've seen like, for example, things that are supposed to scare pigeons away. They'll have like... Let's go back down to the forest, too. I'm going to look for horseradish down here. I'm going to fish a little bit at that little special hole. It seems like it's a good spot to ply my trade here. Which appears to be fishing, I guess. Man. There is a lot of shit down here to be cleared out. So is this supposed to be just like a separate field for us to use? I think it is, but... Got a frog right there. Unfortunately, I ain't fast enough to gig him. I ain't fast enough to gig him. I could try, but I virtually guarantee you I'm not going to catch him. 
It's been a long time since I tried to gig a frog. My frog gigging days are a long, long ways behind me. It's probably been a good uh, 18 years since I tried to gig a frog. If you know what gigging a frog is, it's just catching a frog for dinner. That's all that it is, catching a frog for dinner. Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. Well, she's got hobbies. It's an attractive trait. I like people who are busy. People who be running. There's something to be said about its lock. So is that Leia? Okay, so Leia lives there. Something to be said about somebody who knows how to relax, though, too. So who knows where the sweet spot is? What? They got cattle and stuff out here? Man, y'all being prosperous and stuff, making me feel bad. Making me feel like I, maybe I'm not putting out like a farmer like I should. Maybe it's a slow process, though. Who knows? wonder if you get to hire farmhands or something later on to help you with the milking and stuff like that. Because it seems like this is going to spiral out of control on me and it's going to take a lot more effort than it did initially in order to accomplish anything. I don't see anything in the forest out here along the sides of the road that can be harvested. Basically, I figured we'd do a sweep like every three or four days. That plant right there is moving. Oh, it won't let me do that right here. All right, we'll go back to this side, and we'll use the rest of the day to try and harvest out whatever we can from that fishing hole. If it's still here, maybe they rotate. They do. So it looks like the magic fishing spots move around, so you got to keep an eye on them. Cool stuff. I like that it's not that simple, and I'm constantly learning stuff about the game. That's also an attractive feature in a game to me. I like it when you got to learn stuff as you go along. You kind of got to learn the rhythms of... Learn the rhythms of the design, I guess be the way that I would describe it. I don't know where the hell wild horseradish would grow at. I'd think it'd be over here somewhere, but shit, if I know, I'm not that outdoorsy. If you task me with finding a wild horseradish, I'd be like, I don't know. Find the supermarket where the liquor spot is right next to where they sell the radishes. Horseradish? Is there a difference between a radish and a horseradish, or are all radishes horseradishes? Like, is radish like a shortening, a concatenation of horseradish, or are they two separate things? I would assume that, like, when you've got horse apples, it denotes an apple that is not fit for human consumption, because they're all sandy and gross. It's an apple that even the horses won't eat. Farm's a little bit iffy over here, but... I don't know, let's swing through the bar tonight. Let's go see if there's anybody at the pub before we close off on this episode. See if there's anybody that wants to help us along with our little task. Hope nobody minds the fact that I dug up the road right there. I mean, it's the road to my house, so... Looks like there's potholes, too. It's a little unfortunate. Can you fill them? No, you can't fill them. Town needs a little bit of work. Somebody needs to help this place out. It looks like, I mean, it's a beautiful little town, though. and a lot of people here. Might get a little boring. I don't know if you ever grew up in a small town or whatever, but it could be a little lonely. This just ain't my thing. Beer, salad, spaghetti. Man, I love me some biscotti. Biscotti's what's up. Doesn't look like there's much going on over here, so I think I'll probably retire for the evening. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley, a fun little game, if not a little slow paced. That's cool though, I don't always wanna be like, go, 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 go all the time, that's not me. So I like the fact that the game gives you time to fiddle around with stuff. Next episode, we'll take a look over in this area, I guess, and see if maybe we can find something on this side of town that'll be interesting to gawk at. Bye everybody, I do.